Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com. It is in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any of our watches. Reach out to us directly, tmasso at the 1916company.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a late 2023 for 2024 limited edition of 100 pieces. So for the 2024 model year, we have this H. Moser & C. Endeavor Chinese Calendar in rose gold. 40 millimeters in diameter. It's a little bit smaller than a standard Endeavor. 13.4 millimeters thick and from lug to lug. 47.5 millimeters across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now this 100 piece limited edition incorporates both the Chinese calendar with zodiacs and in addition to the Chinese zodiac, it has the Gregorian calendar implemented. We'll talk about how these two things work out. The watch is easy to wear compared to the 42 millimeter endeavors. It's a better fit for me. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. And then it is very flat with a concave bezel all the way around. It'll actually slip easily underneath the cuff. You can see over the top, which always exaggerates the width of a watch across the wrist. This one's actually pretty reasonable, and I could recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Taking a look at the strap, it's upscale. We have large rectangular scale alligator leather in dark brown with a gloss finish. And then on the edges, we have a sheer cut side. You can see that the lugs are drilled very close to the case to make for a better fit on a small wrist. And then a curved spring bar has been used so there's no impediment to the range of motion of the strap. On the bottom, you can see that it has a rubber inlay. This is something Moser's doing more and more like Zenith to shield the leather from the moisture, sweat, heat, and grit of the wrist. And it's also very comfortable against the skin. Not every Moser watch features a deployant clasp. Most of them feature pin buckles. This one does feature a deployant clasp, and as you can see, a combination of polish and satin. It is a friction fit clasp, and like all deployant clasps, its purpose is to better enable you to avoid dropping your watch. The Endeavor case is machined and then hand finished, and this two-step process allows these wonderful flowing polished cavities, which can't be achieved, at least at this depth, by stamping or machining alone. So machined and then hand finished to create this lovely fluid form. We have vertical satination on the flanks of the case, both sides there. And you can see we have a little bit different from a conventional Endeavor, which has a bezel that sort of flows broader at six and 12. This one is symmetrical all the way around, but it's concave all the way around. We have a Moser branded crown and we have pusher adjusters for correcting the various elements of the calendar. So this is midnight blue fume for Moser. So it's not their funky blue. This is a darker, more intense smoked blue. So silver, cobalt, I would say, cobalt silver at the center, and then almost black navy blue at the edge. Also, we have a directional grain. It is a metallic sunburst. And if you look carefully, you can see in clear lacquer the Moser branding. Moser is very discreet about its branding because its design is strong enough that it need not brand to the nth degree. Likewise, the Swiss made threshold is 60% of value and content. And so Moser, which has a much higher 90 to 95% Swiss content, simply doesn't put Swiss made on its dials for that reason. It feels it is an inferior standard and Moser does better. Now what's going on here? Well, we have the Gregorian calendars conventional date down at six o'clock. We have little sub seconds and yes, the watch does feature hacking seconds. You could see retrograde lunar age over at three o'clock. And then over here, we have retrograde Chinese months. Now up at the top, we have Chinese years and the embolismic month. So basically a leap month would be displayed up there. Taking a quick look at the way the watch operates, it's clear that the Chinese calendar dominates most of the dial, but some of these elements also transfer over and are perfectly understandable from a Western standpoint. Things like Age of the Moon, for example, a 12-month format. Uh, we don't have the embolismic month here in the West, so the Chinese years and the embolismic month up at the top are more specific to the East Asian market for which this watch was was originally conceived. However, anyone can enjoy it because it is beautifully made and it is a good timekeeper. On the back, we have caliber HMC 210. So the base is H Moser and C, and then the module that achieves the compound Gregorian and Chinese calendar, that is made by Agenor, which is the Geneva complications specialist run by Jean-Marc Videresht. They are 
incredibly renowned, having built everything from modules for MBNF to an individual unit of the Harry Winston Opus series. This calendar has an impressive pedigree, and you can see how the indication works within these little calendars. Rolling it back to the case back, you can see we have a rose gold rotor with at least three different finishes. We have beveling, we have satination, in the form of a rather deeply ridged snailing and then media blast. At center, a sunburst solarization of the center of the ball bearing. Uh, this is a bi-directional winder with a Paul-based winding system, so very smooth and very efficient ceramic bearings or hybrid ceramic, ceramic balls and metal races for better winding efficiency. Three days of power reserve, three hertz beat rate. We have a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for shock resistance. And as mentioned earlier, the watch does feature stop seconds. Moser also builds its own hairspring, escapement, and variable inertia balance. So very impressive to do that in-house. Most brands, even those that are movement manufacturers, cannot accomplish as much. All of this pivots on 33 joules, beats away at three hertz. And you can see that the case back fixed by the little individual flathead screws, that is going to enable the watch to boost a standard dress watch 30 meter water resistance. If you love this watch, east or west, this is among the best. Reach out to T. Masso at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.